How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with some Black Desert Mobile. Today we're going to be reviewing the cat shop, looking at the market and trying to figure out what we think it's going to do this week. So let's get to it. Um, I'm going to actually pop us back out to the patch notes again real quick. I like starting there just to make sure there's nothing uh, that we missed or there's any percent rates of packages that we really need to get some more information on that they hide in these patch notes a one per family this striker all-inclusive chest that's pretty straightforward we, we have a striker level up package gold coin level up package three barding dark thorn Ooh, this also uh flags wearing to look inside barding dragon scale trent camouflage armor outfits trent camouflage weapon outfits new striker armor outfits of course striker weapons die palette pack and bundle of 40 yeah that's just a change made all right that looks good to me let's hop in game and take a look at the shop striker level up package and striker all-inclusive package the level up package is just straight up two times white pearls uh it's even better than the white pearl plus black pearl packs so this is your best value on pearls you're ever going to get are these level up packages they're actually really good we have hot, that's not new. Best deals, new. Level up package, there's your striker package. We have the striker all-inclusive chest. So that's $30 US, so we're comparing it to... 1,232 pearls, keep that in mind. So 1,232 pearls, 50,000 ancient gold coins. You have two oranges, maybe at this at the rates we're seeing right now, maybe three if you're lucky. Uh, maybe, let's let's call that 150 mil ascension skill books times 10. That's actually pretty pretty considerable. Um, ascension skill books are hard to farm. They're they're definitely a progress block. It's that's a tough one for me. It's a super free to play farmable. It's hard to put a value on it at all, but it it shouldn't be ignored. It, it's so far it's the highlight of this chest. 50 alchemy stone chests, worth nothing to me. 10 epic relic chests, kind of worth nothing to me. You're not getting anything out of that at all, except for progress on your goblin tower. Meh. Mystical light stone chests. I, I, same, the same thing I've kind of been reviewing the pearls and things chests we have available. I believe it's over here still. This pearls and things chest, it's behind my head, rip. I'll move myself out of the way here. This pearls and things chest we have it's less pearls than you're supposed to get by like 215 you're getting double the black pearls that for the missing white pearls so that kind of makes up for it but black pearls are just like super undervalued for me or super not worth right now for me in particular especially and the just chances are these mystical light stones are going to be terrible like they're just going to roll bad light stones i mean pissed off i just this package is hardly if any at all better than the actual pearls bu buying actual pearls in fact i just would prefer buying actual pearls because they're a, they're the a huge limiting factor to things you're actually able to make buy and do with your with your pearls you can farm the black pearls for free so you're basically just getting 215 whatever less white pearls for this package coming back to our packages that are new here striker all inclusive so the highlight of this is these ancient skill books so far. Otherwise, it's just a whole bunch of, hey, this is stuff you get on a regular basis. We're just kind of shoving it in one spot. Mystical Lightstones. Uh, okay, Weed and Armor and Weed and Weapon. All right. Uh, so an armor an armor and a weapon chest. That's, that's 980 and 250. Your whole $30 US is technically there in the armor alone and it's potentially a new look as well which which a lot of people like to collect and at that point everything just becomes bonus which does make this a good package actually if you need the if you're looking to make a new armor a new weapon for your characters and you're you're looking here you can craft the armors and the weapons pretty easily in your camp now don't let me forget don't let uh, don't let me let you forget that but Whedon is but yeah it's potentially a new armor Let's take a look in the appearance and see if we get to see it at all. I'm not sure if we do. Striker. Oh, yeah. Whedon. Okay. Is that just totally normal? Archmage Deneve. Carlstein Shoe Dad. Is it only for strikers? Hmm. 
There, I'm only seeing it four strikers at the moment. Maybe, maybe. That, uh, I gotta read the fine print. They, that, that would have to be given to us if it was only a striker costume. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Spirit bound, too. Interesting. So you can't actually sell them on the shop because they don't have a slot for them in the store. Regardless, the actual your actual price of an armor and a weapon there is in itself makes this package basically worth it. And then you're just getting a ton of free stuff. It's not as crazy as past all-inclusive chests I've seen. Because I think they usually throw pets in. And that's what this one's missing. This one's missing a pet. If there was a pet in this package, I'd be like, amazing. Like, phenomenal. I'm just kind of rolling up on valuating this for face value. Like, ancient gold coins are just not worth anything anymore. Ascension skillbook chests. It's it, it's hard to put a value on those. They are kind of the highlight of this box, aside from the, the costumes. Anci Alchemy stone chests, absolutely worthless. Epic relic chests, worthless. These light stones, worthless. You have a, you're getting an armor, a weapon, costume, an armor, costume, and 10 mystical crystal chests. I actually put more value on those mystical crystals than anything else in this package. At least, you probably need 10, 10 crystals, and it says mystical, so you're guaranteed 10 orange crystals. That's some development, at least for your character. It, uh, but all in all, all of these random things put together, they're worth, they're worth something. You're getting your value in the costumes, and this is actually, a, this is a decent pack. I'd say... You're probably getting at least forty to fifty dollars worth of stuff for thirty dollars here, but you're not. What you're not getting for thirty dollars is straight white pearls. That's just a big thing to keep in mind here. This thirty dollars, if you're on a budget, thirty dollars could get you the white pearls that can buy you anything else in the shop, and everything in this package is farmable, free to play. That is. The, that's the big reason I'm not like boom 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 pets are one of the most limiting factor things in the game right now This package needed a pet for me to put it on a hot hot buy because there's no pets and Basically if you're on a budget most of your money at the moment should be investing into pets because they are crazy uh, I would I would even just like keep BP on your radar for the current event, but pets are so insane at the moment that uh, and, and they're the most pay gated thing in the game this the event that we have right now is thankfully really helping us out with that but let's that that's basically everything that's new here the rest of it's uh same old same old now level up package we went over so that brings us to miscellaneous general goods a dye palette pack Black and white palette, pink palette, blue, violet, red, or yellow. Ooh, damn. Uh, infinite buy? Infinite buy. Would you look at that? The bloody die market is going to completely die. Uh, that, that, that was uh, meant to be ironically sounding. 250 pearls. Let me just do a quick, quick, some quick maths for you. 250 pearls right now is only worth ugh, like 100 mil just buying black pearl packages off the market which means the fact that people have been spending billions of silver on the dies are just gone poof nobody wants those regular dies this is the only ones they want so this is where you're gonna get your dies from now and the die market is that brings us to this video cool I'm gonna have to make it we'll, we'll spin into that in just a second let's cover appearance outfits and barding I'm gonna look at barding first dragon scale barding Looks surprisingly similar to Carlstein. No, Lar. This is what I was thinking about. Dragon Scale. I'm not actually a huge fan of this barding. I much prefer this one. It, this one almost just looks like a cleaner, more expensive version. And this was like his his uncle who uh, tried to DIY his own armor set. Dark Thorn. This one's kind of cool. Little little bit of a different theme. A little bit of a cleaner saddle. Uh, two new bardings though. Well, low impact. Now here is something that's brand new that is uh, significant for sure. Trent camouflage outfits. So this is giving us a logging, mining, and foraging speed increase by 30%. Logging, mining, and foraging experience increase by 50%. And logging, mining, and foraging stamina cost 
reduce by 20%. So it's actually going to let you gather more every single day. Now, I'm quite interested. Uh, there's no wording here, but does this affect um, merchant tree? But there's no stamina cost in merchant tree, so probably not. But it, if it increases the speed that my workers can actually do these things in merchant tree, I'd be it'd be fantastic. Uh, and at the experience they get. But it, on, at face value, it looks it just looks like you, your character yourself, is going to gather faster, get more experience, and be able to gather 20% more because of this reduced stamina cost. So it's a pretty decent investment to get one of these costumes on one of your characters. And then, unfortunately, that character becomes your forever gatherer. It's only the only character you ever gather on because it's just suboptimal otherwise. But that's not the worst thing because pro the only reason to gather on alts was for experience. And we have so many viable uses for experience in the game right now that it's just not, not necessary. No need to waste your time to even switch to the alt for the experience anymore. Um, event, general goods, we've covered that. That's everything that's new in the shop. We got the bardings, the level up packages, uh, striker all inclusive pack. Now let's look at the actual market. And we kind of touched on what I'm going to, something I'm going to stroll up on to start this one off in the market today. Uh, pallet chests. Uh, shout out to the market being bought out too. Damn. Pallet chests are going down. These have been an absolute money farm. 1.5 mil per pallet chest. Absolutely insane. Uh, it's just a matter of time before people realize that the conversion rate between buying these and buying the, the Black Pearl pallets out of the shop are just like infinite. Mind you, the Black Pearl supply is just going to get depleted all over the place. So they're not gonna crash. They're gonna crash over time. But actually, they're not going to crash, I don't think, this week. In fact, I could see them maintaining 1.5 mil this week, and maybe they'll start dipping at the end of this week, because the, if they should stock up, slowly people will realize to stop buying them. So yeah, pallets, it, your, your time of making money on pallets is coming to an end, definitely. But I think this week you're still good. It's going to be solid. Uh, we saw a new character come out. Which means we, you get people just trying to develop new characters in general. Which means hello enhanced stones. Uh, mind you, uh, great, yeah. So the weapon stones for sure have been crashing so hard. 135k, that's very low. You're gonna see weapon stones on the increase. People are developing brand new sets of weapons for their strikers. That's a natural occurrence. So keep an eye out. The new gear sets in general. New alts, which means everyone that really pushes family alt CP. Enhanced stones are going to see a little bit of a bump. They're going to probably see a rainbow effect over the course of the week where they top out midweek and then kind of start scaling back off as we head towards next patch. But enhanced stones are definitely on the up. Uh, pearl packages have been on the decline for a while now, but boom, completely bought out. These babies are going up. The event we have on right now uses black pearls and is unreal and these are on the way up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Pearl pack, black pearl chests are going to probably be back up at easily 60 mil a piece, maybe even see 70 mil. It's this is a two, actually, it's a one week, one week event. So this week that you'll see your black pearl chests bought out the whole week. They'll, they'll have to, they'll, they'll start refilling again after our next patch, and maybe start the price will start going back down. But until then, yeah, it's this is these are going to be up there. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then that brings us to accessories. We're still seeing the accessory market in a really crazy place. It's on a slow decline pretty much across the board, though. There just isn't the, the supply for it not to be. It, uh, I mean, there isn't the, the, the demand. People see the free accessories coming. They know of the crash. I've been warning them of the crash. So just keep an eye on the accessories. You still are looking at uh, like ogre rings here, 4.4. People are posting them for minimum because they just want to unload them. Selling an ogre ring at 3.6 is is not even logical. Like they're already hitting pretty theoretical minimums prior to the actual crash. Marcus Shadow 3.8. That's very very low. It uh, witches earrings. See people, tons of people are pushing them under minimum, and the desperateness of wanting black pearls to buy the pets. 
from the event are going to push more accessories into the market. You're going to see, like, it's just an absolute accessory apocalypse we are on the verge of. Keep an eye out for that. Orange gear completely going into the dumpster. We got, a, we got a Shikado rate up event on top of our already increased Shikado orange rate from the past. And uh, you're going to see these numbers maybe even hit triple digits in uh, on your one slot oranges before, while they're waiting to be sold out. Uh, today, specifically being day one, maybe a little stable, but the prices are already in the gutter. Like 36 mil for gloves. These are so low. Helmets cap out in the, like the 70s. These gloves, we, we've been buying these for 70 mil a pop. Boots gloves what you will see is the weapons or the, or the ones that are going to be crazy overrun because the weapons peep yeah like 46 like you're already seeing on their way to triple digits in the weapons the reality is gearing the strikers out is going to keep the the market kind of keep the supply and demand in line but nobody's going to Everyone's going to have their striker geared in a day or two from now. If you and you're going to have of all of your investments you're going to do into a striker will already be done and that's it. You're not just you're, no one's going to be gearing out new characters even 3 quarters of the way through this week. For the most part, for talking from a big general population. But the Shikata rate up event will continue to be pushed hard through. They're sending us free coins in the mail. Uh, I just you're going to see these prices are definitely not turning around at least. Sub 40 mil orange weapon sub let's just say posted and obtainable one slots for 30 mil a pop that's what i'm predicting on the actual weapons which which translates 30 mil translates into like yikes like two, 270 mil laverdos obtainable 270 mil laverdos it's just a huge cro cro eh, crash across the board main hands first sub weapon second chest armors third those are going to be the three most impacted slots you might actually see shoes and gloves go up because nobody wants to pull for shoes and gloves and in a time like this uh the shoes and gloves will get bought out because people still want to develop their alts on them and you're these numbers here you might even see them go up in price because just the, the focus is going to be taken right off them but we got our orange gear we got our accessories pallets are going down black pearl boxes are going up and that really just covers everything that our market can can fluctuate at the moment. That's uh, that's gonna do it. We have our a big influence coming from the the pearl shop, black pearl buyable pallets, and the events that we have on right now. We have the future we uh, coming. Make sure to keep up with your bingo because you're getting your you're gonna get that free tier five pet. And make sure you keep up with your striker preparation login event for that free mystical accessory chest as well as bingo giving us our first stack of event certificates and also keep your eye on let's play together black spirit race because it apparently gives us event certificates i don't know what it, i don't know what it looks like or what it does but these event certificates are driving our first wave of ex of the accessory apocalypse that's this this is twice as bad as the previous one one free oj accessory for the whole server crashed the market immensely and now we're getting two each gonna be insane that's gonna do it for today's market cash shop and market review thank you so much for checking out this video hope you're having a fantastic day get that striker going and uh, i guess before i leave real quick i just want to shout out this hot time event and make sure everyone realizes when you collect these they expire 19 hours after you collect them so make sure you use them they get, they'll sit in your mailbox for 24 hours and then after you pull it out of your mailbox they'll sit in your inventory for another 19 hours so make sure you're not wasting them as they're crazy 300% hot times. But that is going to do it. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.